Babe, I found the camera. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the vlog. Um, I just dug through the closet and found the camera. Um, you know, I didn't set it up there just to do an intro. I, I swear I did it. How are you guys doing? Um, I hope you enjoyed um, the last video, the whole recap on what we have been up to for the past couple months. Huge change to be here in Florida, man. I mean, it's great. You know, we're doing good. Uh, we got decent jobs. Um, you know, I jumped job to job trying to find a good job that I actually like. And I did, which is awesome. Um, I'm actually working as an apprentice mechanic at a Jiffy Lube, which is which is pretty cool. We're gonna go in and try to, uh, you know, film here and there, maybe like one video a week, just to keep you guys updated. It's kind of hard with everything that we're doing, um, working and everything. Um, but today we got something pretty sick planned. I don't know if you guys are familiar, but in Florida, there's a lot of these really, really beautiful springs with like extremely clear water. Um, we're actually gonna be heading to, uh, I think it's called Rock Springs. I forget exactly what town it is in Florida, but it's about two hours away from us. I got the GoPro all locked and loaded. Um, it's actually charging right now. Um, so that's gonna be awesome. We're gonna be heading to Walmart to grab some tubes to be able to do some tubing down the river And we're also gonna do some snorkeling. I hear there's some really really deep caves there um, Which is awesome. So definitely stay tuned and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it's good to be back behind the camera <laughs> I know I know I always go missing um, and it's always for a good reason. I promise but enjoy the video <laughs> got the GoPro charging right now and I don't know if you guys see this, <laughs> um, but I'm back to vaping. I got a vape, and I only have a single battery charger, so I kind of like use some tin foil to like make a a Jimmy rigged double charger, and don't it won't catch on fire. It hasn't yet. Oh. That mic just totally fell off. So before we start this vlog, I just want to address something real quick. Um, so I seen a lot of comments uh, in the video we just posted um, asking about car content and I always get um, DMs on Instagram about car content. So um, I do have my uh, Ready 36, that's my daily as of right now. But we went um, up to Connecticut for winter and there was just no way I was going to be able to get my Drift E36 down to Florida. It would have just cost way too much money. I had nowhere to put it. I don't have a shop right now. Um, so I had to sell it, sadly. It was a hard decision, but it went to a good home. Um, you know, I got my fun out of it and whatnot. Um, like I said, I don't have a shop right now, so car content is kind of difficult. A subscriber actually DM'd me um, today, um, or yesterday, I forget, um, saying he has some extra parts laying around. <laughs> Patrick, what? I thought of something funnier than 24. Let me hear it. 25. Um, which he's gonna send me, which is awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and put his Instagram right in the screen right here. Definitely go give him a follow. Tell him thank you because that's gonna be able to, um, you know, uh, give us some content. Um, he's actually gonna be sending me some rear hubs and some rear bearings because my hubs and bearings are just absolutely shot. So that's cool. Um, and I also have some tires at my new job I'm gonna be throwing on. So with car content, it's kind of a hit or miss right now, but as soon as I'm able to, you know, be able to do some stuff, I will film it. All of my tools are still in Connecticut, like all my essentials, my jack, my welder, you know, all that kind of stuff is in Connecticut. I do have some hand tools here, um, but, you know, not, as much as I would like. So I will keep you updated on that and as soon as I'm able to get some car content out, I will let you know. I'm gonna go ahead and ask my boss at work if I'm allowed to film there. Cause if I am, I'll film, you know, like a day in the life of, um, you know, working there and working on cars and whatnot. And um, I'm also um, able to bring my car there and do some stuff there. So as soon as I get those parts, we're gonna get those on and I'll film it for you guys. But with that being said, Let's go ahead and jump into it. We got the whole car packed. It's good to go, so let's do it. Got to fuel up the car before we take off. Got a two hour drive ahead of us. Also got to fuel our bodies with the, the daily dose of soda. You ready? Mm -hmm. I got a Lego car. You got a Lego? Nice. Are you ready, queen? Just pulled in uh, to Rock Springs um, to 
took quite a while to get here. We actually got lost. We took the wrong turns like at least three times. Um, but it's 3.30 and the water closes at 5. This is kind of like a last minute decision, so we're kind of just finding a parking space. Um, I don't even know where the water is. There is a suit here. All right. So I forgot to film, but we bought three um, inner tubes to be able to float in the water. Um, thankfully, I have like a, an automatic thing to blow it up. Sadly, we kind of got here late. Like I said, this was a last minute decision and we only have like an hour. So we're going to try to make the best of it. Um, we're definitely going to plan a trip to come to another spring. It's called Blue Springs. That's usually where all the manatees are. So um, yeah, I'm going to go and get these blown up and uh, go in that water. <sighs> so my automatic inflator didn't work the best, so I had to blow it up by mouth and I'm completely out of breath. I just want to thank you for coming to this video, all the people that have been sort of supporting me, um, you know, throughout the change and, you know, not having videos for an extensive period of time. Um, I really appreciate the, the OGs that stick around, um, that watch our life grow, and uh, it's only up from here, right, babe? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, she has her queen shirt on, by the way, because she's not queen. I took my king shirt off. Yeah, I'm getting a dad bod. It's all good. Here's the water. Look how crystal clear this is. Oh, it's not bad at all. It's not bad at all. Get on it, Jay. Hop on it. How is it, Jay? Good. Crazy clear. I really didn't, even, didn't even know stuff like this existed in Florida. I know. I wish we lived closer. I know. And it this was is a like, long drive. This reminds me of Connecticut, like going to uh, that Coldbrook Reservoir. Yeah. All right. So I was trying to talk in the GoPro, but um, it's not the best um, voice quality and stuff, and it's in the waterproof case. So I don't really know if you can hear me. But uh, there's supposed to be a cave here. I mean, you're not really supposed to go in it, but like again, like I said in the last video, your boy will do it. <laughs> So um, yeah, there's like a, there's a huge like basically, huge just spring, and I'm not sure where it is. Um, I got a clip. Um, you guys just saw it of like sand bubbling underwater. It was kind of weird, um, but we're trying to find the cave, maybe a spot to jump in. I'll meet you down there. How nice is it? Really nice. Really nice. Ah. Camera inception, back and forth, boom, boom, boom. I'm being a little risky. I got the camera in the water, but it's pretty shallow. Um, the cave is actually like a five minute walk, and we can't really leave Jay by himself. So once he's done playing with his friend, we're gonna try to get, we're gonna try to convince him to walk to the cave with us, but this is absolutely gorgeous. I really wish we got here earlier. Super deep here, super clear, and super warm. Oh, babe, come over here. Film me going to there and film me come up over there, okay? So there's a tunnel under me that starts from here. You go under the rock and come up right there. I'm gonna go under. Can you see you see well? Yeah, a little bit. Ready? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. That's you saw that? Yeah. <laughs> So the park is officially closed. Um, well, the water part, but that was pretty fun. It was super fun. We're definitely coming back. Definitely. I'm sad we got here a little late, but I mean, 
it was definitely worth it. Um, I actually met uh, two locals that come here pretty often. Um, they're all decked out in like scuba gear or well, snorkeling gear and um, he showed me a little cave that you can actually go under. It's pretty scary honestly because it's super dark and you know when you hold your breath your lungs are full of uh, full of air and it just lifts you up so it wants to lift you up and hit the rocks um, but it was pretty cool. I couldn't really get any GoPro clips because I had to use my hands to hold the rocks. Um, but yeah, it was awesome. I hope you guys enjoyed those clips. I hope the quality is decent, um, but we're just getting ready to go back. Got the tubes, the car packed. People are gonna get so mad. Go, go, go.